Hello friends, good morning. In traveling verse, I have so far explained what is traveling verse, what are different terms associated with the traveling verse, and I have discussed the different cases of line termination, and we have obtained the expressions for transmitted voltage, deflected voltage, transmitted current, and deflected current in terms of incident voltage and current. Now there are two extreme cases. One when line is open circuited at the other end and second when line is short circuited at the other end. Today I will explain the open circuit line and the concept behind how the voltage gate doubles, gets doubled, how the reflected voltage is same as incident voltage wave, how the current, resultant current at the termination becomes zero and how this reflected current has negative sign that of with respect to that of the incident current wave. And second thing I will explain what happens if there are multiple reflections and transmissions. So for this we have to consider the distributed line parameters in a long transmission line. So LC distributed parameters we are considering L1, C1, L2, C2 there are n number of line sections. Now let us consider the last section this is open circuited end last section small length dx so inductance will be l into dx and capacitance will be c into dx here we are impressing a voltage when switch s is closed so here incident voltage wave will start and it will be followed by the current wave now the voltage and current are related by this equation v is equal to i into zn where zn is surge impedance of the line that is given by underwood l by c now when the voltage and current wave re at this point there is open circuit open circuit so energy is stored in this small inductor that is dx l i square will be converted into electrostatic energy this electromagnetic energy will be converted into electrostatic energy that is half c e square half c dx e square charging this capacitor to voltage E by this equation. Half L dx I square will be equal to half C dx E square. So E is according to this equation underwood L by C into I. Now underwood L by C is nothing but Zn. Now let us say this is equation number 3. Now equal equation number 1 that is V is equal to I Zn and equation number 3 that is E is equal to Zn I. It means E and V they are equal and this capital I and small i they are equal. Therefore, if we consider the resultant voltage at the receiving end it will be twice V. Now according to this if we compute the equation for trans reflected wave by keeping this V double dash is equal to twice V we get V dash is equal to V. For current as it is open circuited I double dash will be 0 so I dash that is reflected current wave will be equal to minus I now let us see what happens when there is reflected trans reflected uh, repeated reflection and transmission let us say capital T is the time required by the traveling wave to reach from sending end to receiving end and vice versa so this is complete line here I will draw the diagram for voltage here it will be for current this point represents sending end for the voltage wave this is receiving end for the voltage wave this is sending end for the current wave it is receiving end for the current wave so at t is equal to 0 plus switch is closed so voltage wave and current wave they start from the sending end and they are moving towards the receiving end after time t is equal to capital T we have considered capital T is the time required by the voltage and current wave to reach from sending end to the receiving end. So after time T is equal to capital T, complete line will be charged with the voltage V and current I. Now at T is equal to T plus means what happens after the voltage and current reach at the receiving end. The reflected voltage as per our equation is same as the transmit is the incident voltage. So here the line is already charged with voltage V, incident voltage was V, so reflected voltage will start 
having magnitude same that is v the line is charged with current i now according to our equation the reflected current is minus i so from here a current wave of minus i magnitude will start now at t is equal to capital t that is after double the time required to travel the distance means wave has reached here and wave after reflected voltage reaches here so already voltage was v reflected voltage is also v so line will be charged with voltage twice v current is i reflected current is minus i so total current or overall current on the line will become zero that is voltage will become twice v and current will become zero after time t is equal to twice t now after the voltage and current waves reach sending end that is 2t plus what happens the source voltage is v and the line is charged with voltage twice v the source will try to maintain its voltage so here from here the voltage wave of minus v magnitude will start and moving towards the send receiving end as voltage is minus v current wave will also have magnitude of minus i after time 3t this minus v voltage wave will reach this end minus i current wave will reach this end the total current total voltage was twice v now start now voltage is minus v so resultant voltage will be only v and resultant current is minus i now after time 3t plus means what happens when this minus v reaches here and reflected minus i reaches here and reflected the reflected voltage will be same as the incident voltage so reflected voltage will also be minus v the reflected current will be negative of the incident current so current will be positive i so after time 4t reflected current is minus v the line was charged with voltage v so resultant voltage is zero here the current incident is minus i reflected is plus i so current is zero so after time 4t the reflected voltage the overall voltage on the line and overall current on the line will become zero now when we consider 4t plus again the source is here so voltage wave of v will start and rise and so on so after every 4t seconds the voltage and current will become zero but before that the line uh, the line the lightning arrestor will discharge this voltage and this over voltage and over current it may be due to lightning or it may be switching so this is how the voltage and current wave and voltage and current behavior on the complete line goes on changing as per the time t twice t three t and four t in my next class i will explain the same phenomena for the short circuited line thank you now friends if you find this video lecture useful then please like it ask your friends colleagues your juniors to subscribe to my channel for upcoming video lectures on high voltage engineering and power system protection i if you want to make efficient and effective use of time then read my book on time management the link for the book is given in the description box i have launched a useful course for the students particularly for the students who are preparing for upcoming competitive and entrance exam on udemy the course is on udemy the title of the course is boost your learning and become top achiever the link for the course is also given in the description box thank you